I started out by designing my project. It's basically three pieces, the backing, the frame, and the puzzle. I'm also going to engrave a photo onto the puzzle, and when the puzzle is removed, it reveals a poem that is engraved on the backing. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove both the frame and the backing and concentrate just on the puzzle. I'll create a separate SVG file and load it into the Glowforge to get it cut out first. I will be cutting the puzzle pieces first as to prevent burn or scorch marks. Since the engraving will be done without masking, cutting it first will ensure that the wood will not get burn marks because it is properly masked. You can clearly see the burn marks on the masking now. Now I'm going to remove the masking and this piece is now ready to be engraved. Now it's time to prepare our photo. I place my colored photo into Adobe Illustrator and I adjust it to fit the page. Next, I go to my original design and I select the puzzle. I copy and paste the puzzle onto my new drawing. The puzzle is exactly the size that the Glowforge will cut and I want the picture to be the same as well. Once the puzzle is positioned correctly on the photo, I select the photo and I start to crop it to size. Then I resize my artboard to fit the picture. Next, I select and delete the puzzle, leaving just the picture behind. I then select the picture and copy it and I load it into Photoshop. It is here where I can easily convert it to grayscale. I then adjust the brightness and the contrast. I then save the picture as a JPEG. I then place the adjusted photo into my original design to ensure that it fits, and it does fit perfectly. I next load a filler piece of plywood up against the right side of the crumb tray to ensure that when I load my puzzle that it lines up 90 degrees to the print head. I now load my recently adjusted JPEG to the Glowforge and I adjust it to size. I place it directly over the puzzle. It's okay if it overlaps a bit. I then check my engrave settings. This engrave is going to take about 36 minutes. So let's hit the print button and let's get this engrave started. Now I'm going to remove the engraved puzzle from the Glowforge and take it to the garage to give it a protection coat of semi-gloss polyacrylic. Now I'm going to load and cut the remaining SVG files for the frame and the backing. When done, I'll do a final assembly and get this project done.
Well, this completes another project, and I hope you enjoyed this short video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. So until next time, I hope you have a fantastic day, and God bless. And I wish you the best on your next craft or project.